だし So when I was a legit skating at the skate park, I always had homies that were older than me. And when I was growing up, all of them got in drift cars. And growing up around them, I was always being that little kid, helping them build shit, paint their rims. Like I was always that kid just trying to learn some shit off of them. It's such a like similar community to skateboarding. So I don't know, it just felt like a connection right away. It was like one of those cosmic intervention type moments, honestly. Basically, we were supposed to go to a car shoot, not a car shoot, but mainly a car meet, and then we we're gonna do a shoot there. And the car meet was supposed to be at MSJC. We pull up on time, <laughs> and there was just no cars to be found. Absolutely nothing. We were off by a week. It was the next Sunday. And so we were like, oh my God, defeated. Feeling dumb as fuck for not checking double checking the date and we're like damn like ah, it would be so crazy if we just had a beautiful car that we could go take pictures with slide around just create cars. so car meet wasn't going down it wasn't even the same day we thought it was and instead of just going back to the pad and giving up and going to just smoke a bowl we just chose to fucking say fuck it let's go film some random shit Went to this parking garage, got some, rare, like a little bit of footage, but we weren't really feeling it. And then we went back to the pad, got a skateboard, came right back and then started just filming. We went to uh, the AMC parking garage that was right down the street. And then I saw this one fucking shot with, it was basically in this overhang and it had like the sun glowing down onto these almost like picnic tables. And I was like, oh dude, I want to set up a tripod right here. I'm gonna have the still shot. I see this cool like movie shot of people running back and forth and doing the whole thing. So I'm gonna have him go on the skateboard. He's ripping it up, doing whatever. And then uh, I notice he talks to somebody over that I can't even see that's around the corner. These random fools pulled up and we were, they were just like sc screaming out at me because I was doing like kick flips or something. And bro, I heard the exhaust from the car and I saw the spoiler, I was like, Gavin. We gotta fucking pull up, there's, there's a car shoot right here. And eventually he's like, oh fuck dude, they're doing a car shoot. And I think I have a video of it, man. He's like, oh shoot, they're doing a car shoot. And I lose my shit. So I'm like, fuck yeah. Come around the corner and I'm like, no way. It's the fucking eclipse, the fast and the furious. We ran straight up, Damn, met bro. all of them, just like, did some kickflips in front of the car and just like from that we grew like a cool little connection got on their group chat started networking and then slowly began i don't know it's, it, for me it started my whole like intake in photography like i it started my little journey into that and i love that shit, dude i feel like that moment right there is like a a memory that you'll never forget And from there, uh, like I said, we connected with all of them and they hit us up and was like, oh dude, in this group chat, uh, we're, we're gonna be doing another super shoot. We're gonna have the orange super from Fast and the Furious and it's gonna be pulling up. Uh, we might have a location in the port of Long Beach, so you should pull up. And we were like, fuck it, let's make it happen. The whole week we were just saying like, fuck, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta call out, we gotta be there. And that day came and it started off really sick. We went to meet up some two homies did a quick little shoot at like 6.30 in the morning where we first met those fools and then rolled straight to the shoot in Long Beach, California. And slowly, like when we first got there, it was only the Eclipse and then the Super game came and then the R34 and then that was just like a dream come true right there. It didn't feel real being there. Like, I don't know, like the whole shoot and the whole spot we were at just felt like 
We're in like GTA or some shit. Bro, like Hayden said, it felt like straight up GTA. We're in this harbor location where I've never been at. I've barely ever been to Long Beach. And we're like in these like fucking back road port harbor place and there's construction workers everywhere. And I'm like, oh shit, there's the eclipse just right next to the water. Like while we're taking pictures, I hear somebody say, oh yeah, we got the homie with the R34 pulling up. I'm like, dude, no fucking way. And I was like, yo, dude, this is, this is not happening. And the whole time when we were taking that shoot, like just taking pictures, passing near by each other, we we're all just cheesing. Everyone there just like, mind blown of the cars and that's like the community i love dude just that like i don't know it makes you feel like a little kid being there and the inner child bro that's like the best feeling you could ever get and then eventually we had uh the harbor patrol pull up yeah, and they, they didn't really like us sending up drones so they kicked us out from there from there we went to a movie location for fast and the furious it was just one of those crazy days where everything kind of unfolded i didn't know exactly what was going to happen but i just knew like bro we're we're on the right path Something that we're doing here is right. We're with the right people, the right homies. Shout out Daniel, shout out Matt, shout out Carlos, shout out Jaden, all the homies that we just fucking met. Shout out Eddie with the Supra. Like all the homies that just pulled up and had such a cool vibe. Everybody was super chill. Everybody was all love. It was nothing but just enthusiasm. Everybody was cheesing, bro. It was like, like a bunch of kids in a fucking candy store. Just all the bros just posted like, yeah, look at these fucking cars. This whole time, I feel like ever since I met you, we always been talking about, fuck, we need to get in the car community or start making car YouTube videos. And this whole time, it was either that or we dip and get the fuck out of this area. And for some reason, the universe gave us this and really want, just wants us to start something here. Like I feel the universe telling us to do that. This whole connection we built with this fast house and uh, Bam Flicks, shout out to the homie. He's fucking sick. That whole connection just, I feel like that's what really sparked us. I don't know, say, take that big leap of faith, get that project car, start a YouTube channel, start making merch, start fucking grinding on that shit because I don't know, life is too short to not take those leaps, bro. It's either you take them now or you take them later and you don't really have time to do it. At our age, I feel like this is like building us, like it's building our brains or it's helping us in the future or some shit or the way we look at life. And we're gonna be on some crazy shit in 10 years. Um, everybody's just been collaborating, building a small little community here that's now growing bigger. It's cool, it's cool. I'm excited with everything that's going on. I feel like we all got the skills to make something bigger happen with the videography, with the skating, with the cars, and just the creativity, the enthusiasm in general. I don't know, man. We can make fucking something sick happen. Something dope. But it's just gonna take that, uh, that leap of faith and the consistency. So let's see where it goes, man. This is a fun first video to make. Boom, breaking the fourth wall. Straight to the camera. This is a fun ass video to make. Um, just gonna go off of all the, the clips that we got from the other days. Yeah, man. Let's see what, what's to come. Hope you have an amazing rest of your night. Adios. <laughs>